Top bosses, are you looking forward to grow in this field as an electrical technician? Today I'm sharing with you 5 tips on how best you can become the electrical engineer of today's century who is making some good or decent living for themselves. Let's dive right in top boss. Number one, you must be very skillful. When it comes to electrical engineering, no doubt that you must ensure that you know the electrical installation all the way from pipe work to wiring to installation of fittings as well as testing to ensure that everything is working perfectly. Once you are able to do that, then you are at advantage position when it comes to this electrical field. Tip number two is to know your customer. Different people are different when it comes to releasing their money for their own projects. So how you treat them, how you work with them in their journey to achieve their dreams matters a lot. If at all you are dealing with a customer, know that not all customers are the same. You must treat them differently according to how they prefer to be treated. For instance, a client may tell you that I want to execute this work in phases. You know, you cannot push them that they must complete the project or they must put all their money in that project at once. Probably they want to have the project done in phases and so you must be able to provide an assurance that you will work with them throughout the journey until the completion of their project and see them through their dreams. But you should not force them to behave like other clients that you have probably dealt with in the past. Let's say a client had a project and they paid you all the amount for the materials and you executed the project at once. A different customer should be treated differently. On the same category, there are customers who would want to purchase materials on their own. All they want from you is a list and provision of labor for the same project. So do not force them to allow you to purchase the materials on their behalf, but instead give them a list, give them preferences, give them that leeway to be able to purchase materials as long as you give them a guidance on the best materials that will be able to last the entire lifetime of their project. Now, top boss, if you're finding value out of our today's video, kindly smash that like button. Number three, leverage your strengths. You know, it is important for you to master what you are good at, especially when it comes to electrical engineering. You are probably good at pumps, motors, and such like machines. But another person is good at solar installation. Another one is good at the general electrical installation, be it domestic, be it single phase wiring, or be it three phase wiring or industrial wiring. So know your strengths. Which ones are they? Are you good at solar? Are you good at motors? Are you good at those machines? Are you good at generally domestic installation or industrial? Whatever field that you're good at, ensure that you capitalize on that. Those are your strengths. When it comes to solar, ensure that you know everything when it comes to the quotation of that solar system for a specific need, for a specific client, ensure that you're good in that area. When they ask for a quotation, what are you quoting when it comes to the solar panels, the batteries, which ones are the best for lighting, which ones are the best when it comes to home appliances, or which ones are the best for heating. Know all of that. Ensure that you equip yourself with all the information, as well as do market research when it comes to that specific area that you are having a lot of strengths, so that Whenever your customer or your prospect is asking for any question, you present yourself as a person that is very much knowledgeable in this sector and they will definitely prefer your services and end up hiring you. Tip number four is to post 
your work. We are in this era of social media. Ensure that you use these platforms to the maximum. Remember, these platforms are free. Be it Facebook, be it YouTube, be it WhatsApp, be it TikTok. All of these platforms are free. And people go in there to interact as well as to check out new content that is coming out. Don't be among the people who go to check out content, but also be able to produce your own content like what we are doing right now, my top boost. Produce content, produce content, and produce much more content so that someone who is out there who is looking forward to have services that you are offering will come across your content and they will be able to contact you. On the same note, ensure that you have your contacts. It could be an email, it could be a phone number, it could be a link that may direct your prospects to your DMs whereby they will be able to interact with you further. And when that happens, you stand a chance to convert viewers, to convert followers into customers. We know that in this area of electrical engineering, we definitely want customers. We want people who will be able to come to our doors, knock, and our work is to usher them into our houses. Once they knock our doors, we should not let them leave. So if a person asks you a question, like let's say I get asked a lot about an instant shower head, about the wiring, about the earthing. When someone is asking me about that, I am so glad to help because it means that if they are having a problem and I give them an easy and a solution that they can be able to do it even on their own, then they will trust me. The next time they want an electrical technician, definitely. They will be happy to knock at my door and I will be happy to offer them an invite. They will come in, I will offer them a seat, I will offer them a drink and we will have some good time together. In other words, I'm saying if someone knocks your door, if someone tries to come to contact you, don't let them walk away. Don't let them get that information and just go. But keep in touch with them. Ensure that you ask them constantly, did you solve the problem that you had? And if yes, congratulations, that was so good of you. Make your future customer feel comfortable with you. Feel glad that they met you. Feel glad that they have someone who is concerned about them. And in future, if they will have any issues, they will definitely, definitely not hesitate to come to you for a solution. And that is when now you will offer a solution and at the same time, you will get something in return. For instance, they need a service and a product. You'll we'll be able to supply both and standing a chance to making double profit. How? Because when you supply a product to them, of course you'll get a profit from that. When you offer your services, you will charge for your services and we call that labor. So you will stand a chance to gain a lot. So be free, be willing to share information and be willing to post constantly online so that you may meet a potential customer. Tip number five and the last one is to ensure that you always invest yourself. Read books, self-help books. These books will be able to open your mind on how to deal with different individuals. I have read a lot of books which have opened my eyes. In particular, I have read this book which is How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. This book has helped me so much to be able to understand different people because of the information that I gained from this book. This is a great book that you can read and if you are interested, I will be linking it on my description. You can get it from Amazon. This book, How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie has helped me a lot because I have been able to know how to deal with different people as well as how to convince people 
into buying my ideas and you know people have different issues when it comes especially to electrical or generally electricity but for you to offer a solution that they will be able to buy or for you to be able to convince them to hire you and go and deliver a service or a product it requires a lot of convincing and you must be able to understand them at various stages that you are negotiating. So this book will come in handy and it will really help you grow in this field as an electrical technician. Another important investment is to ensure that you constantly research in this field. Electrical engineering does not only stop at the point where you graduate or receive that academic accolades, but it continues on and on and on because we must ensure that we enlighten ourselves with new information as well as keep on pounding on what has already been done because physics or electrical engineering is basically wide so my top boss continue investing in yourself and those are five tips that will really help you just to recap very fast on the five tips that will help you become the best electrical technician and excel in this field is number one ensure that you are good at your skills number two you must know your customer number three you must leverage on your strengths number four you must post your work online that is on social media and number five you must invest in your self-development. So that is it. When you follow these steps, you will be on your way to growing just as I am growing in this field of electrical technician. Thank you so much for watching. If you have not subscribed, subscribe to my channel, Top Heights Electricians, and I will definitely be sharing more when it comes to our field. My name is John, and this is Top Heights Electricals and Electricians. See you in the next one.